Hi, I'm Victor Santor, NATCA's Southern Region Vice President. I represent the voices of our union's hardworking, dedicated professionals in Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Kentucky, Mississippi, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, Puerto Rico, and St. Thomas. Last month, as we celebrated NATCA's 27th anniversary, we reflected on the journey that has brought this great union to where it is today. Looking ahead, this August and October present critical moments for the future of NATCA and our professions. This week marks the second month of the NATCA Difference Open season, and we are making great strides in organizing new voices to make NATCA stronger and better. I'm proud to say that over 580 new members have joined us since this campaign began, but we cannot rest. August 15th marks the end of NATCA's open season, and our union can only achieve the highest level of success if we represent the voices of all our bargaining unit employees who run the national airspace system. In October, NACA will host its 15th biennial convention. Hundreds of delegates will assemble to determine the course of NACA's future and our positions for issues such as long-term funding streams for the FAA, commitments to building our internal strength, and setting the stage for our continued prominence in Washington, D.C. and within the national and international aviation communities. As we move towards these months, I ask those of you who haven't joined us to think about your future. Can you afford not to be interested in NATCA? What happens in NATCA and between NATCA and the FAA affects all employees. Can you afford to remain on the sidelines, watching decisions about your job security, wages and benefits being made without your input? Can you afford to continue thinking conditions on the job would be as they are now without NATCA? NATCA has played a tremendous role in creating the positive, collaborative environment we work in today. Our jobs are more pleasant and secure because of union representation. Supervisors treat us fairly because of contractual requirements. The FAA is fair because NATCA keeps it honest. The positive, collaborative working environment and our ability to have a say in our workplace is no accident. Over the course of the last two decades, NATCA has cultivated a sterling reputation that has proven invaluable in promoting better professional environments for the thousands of men and women across our various bargaining units. Just look at how NATCA has grown and advanced. We now service 18 bargaining units instead of one. We have delivered millions of dollars to our membership through grievance arbitrations and other legal processes, brought about true collaboration with the FAA, and successfully negotiated landmark agreements for NATCA members. NATCA has advocated for legislation helpful to our causes and defeated harmful legislation, spearheaded fatigue mitigation and professional standards programs, and institutionalized voluntary reporting programs. We have also taken the initiative on many issues specifically pertaining to Region X, including NASP project implementation, IT program support, airports and legal staff, and more. We have volunteer representatives working within the FAA workgroups on virtually all aspects of equipment, airspace and procedures development in order to modernize the NAS. The FAA, DOT and Congress, as well as other aviation groups and public policy organizations now come to NATCA when they need solutions not otherwise thought achievable. The passion, knowledge and dedication of NATCA members lofted our organization into a position of unrivaled respect throughout the aviation community and serves as a strong foundation for success as we enter the next chapter of aviation history. At NACA's convention, it will fall upon the delegates to determine how best to proceed in the future. We believe that you deserve the best. You deserve to know that when you speak, your union and the nation will listen. You deserve to know that your workplace and the aviation system as a whole will be a better place for NACA having been there. So I ask you to join us because this great union is made up of the voices of many, not just a few. Your voice matters, as does your future. I'm asking because together we are stronger.